2020 may not have been the best year for some. However, the world of anime continues to entertain us with some amazing anime. It may still be early in the year, but we've had some amazing fights already. And so here is a list of the best fights that 2021 has given us so far. After three long years, there is finally a sequel to B, The Beginning. Although the short six episodes of this season was not enough to really progress the story, it did set up nicely for the third season. It's an interesting story that initially appears like a simple detective story of finding the murderer. However, there was more to this supernatural mystery show that unravels as the story progresses. One of the highlights of this anime is the action scenes, especially the close-up scenes. We see this from the very first episode beautiful choreography, character designs, and fluidity, which makes the fight far more entertaining. Hopefully, the wait for season three is not as long. This anime follows the story of a 34-year-old who was killed by the dreadful truck Kun when attempting to do something heroic. He may seem like a terrible person, but that's because he didn't have the brightest of childhood or experiences, which all contributed to what he is now. However, he has been given a second chance by being reborn into a new world, while retaining his old memories. Now he has the opportunity to overcome his traumas, while creating new bonds and discovering the beautiful new world he finds himself in. The beautiful artwork and animation not only make this series a visual treat, but also improves the action scenes. Especially the final episode delivering a fantastic team fight between the Dead Ends and the Red Hood Cobra. Sadly, we must wait until summer for the second cur. We only had to wait 900 plus episodes to finally witness the clash between the legendary Roger Pirates and Whitebeard Pirates, or in other words, Ace's dad versus Ace's father. One Piece may be a long running series, but it has fantastic animation, especially in the recent arcs. This stunning animation made the clash between these legends that much more epic. It was an amazing sight to see the younger versions of many legendary characters all at once. We have our dynamic duo, Shanks and Buggy. Then there is Rayleigh, claiming to be always serious and yet uses a single finger to stop young Marco. <laughs> Finally, we have the captains themselves. May the man with the better moustache win this legendary fight. Let's all pay respect to the dead One Piece fans who couldn't witness these wonderful scenes we have waited years for. Some people love Boruto, some people hate it, but this was the fight that made both groups satisfied. The animation for this fight was far above the usual animation. Coupled with the impressive choreography and fluid movements make it probably one of the best fights of the entire series. Kawaki knows nothing about the art of ninja, and yet he was still able to fight impressively with just pure martial arts. We can only wait to see his abilities once trained like a ninja. This was one of the more brutal fights of the show. Even as the villain begs for mercy, Kawaki shows no signs of mercy. He kills the enemy right after he finishes insulting his breath. Enjoy the animation whilst it lasts. Slime has grown to become an overwhelmingly powerful being, but just before he became a demon lord, 
he had an extremely tough fight against the leader of the Western Saints Church's Ten Great Saints. She believes he was responsible for the death of a former teacher and decides to kill him in revenge. This was a frustrating fight to watch for many reasons, one of which was the weakened state that Rimuru was in due to the barrier. At the same time, it was nice to finally see someone giving him a challenge, as he often avoids direct confrontation with individuals potentially stronger than himself. Luckily, he has a high IQ, and he manages to fake his death and retreat successfully, for now. World Trigger is back and has leveled up with much better pacing and animation for Season 2. And unlike other shonen, there is a heavy focus on team fights and strategies. There have already been some great fights this year, but the one that stands out the most is the group fight between the top attackers of Border Agency versus the invading neighbors. Each one of the Border Agents have very different personalities and fighting styles, and yet their team play and synchrony was outstanding. Individually, the neighbors may have been superior, but as a team, the Border Agents were able to coordinate and use their strengths far more effectively. Looking forward to seeing the main trio reaching similar levels of skill. <laughs> The common theme in shonen fights is to usually have a little chat with the enemy, wait for each other's transformations, and then shout out a few attack names, but not in Attack on Titan. The Warhammer Titan was knocked out before she could even finish her transformation. Eren has undergone peak character development in Season 4, from a naive young boy to a calculative, ruthless man. The Warhammer Titan may have been the strongest Titan in the series, but the fully grown Eren was just too experienced both strategically and in combat. Ironically, do you have any last words were the last words of the Warhammer Titan. <laughs> Black Clover suddenly came to an end, but not before delivering us with some epic fights. The animation and choreography was simply amazing, especially the coordination between God Mode Yami and the Devil Mode Asta. Both Yami and Asta surpass their limits in this fight. First, Yami unlocks an epic new skill and then Asta releases more of his devil powers in exchange for one of his arms. The tension built throughout the fight with the countdown was another great touch, keeping the viewers on edge, but the highlight of this fight was the very last second. Yami passes his katana across in a symbolic moment, acknowledging Asta as a successor. Asta reacts to this within a split second and gets himself into a stance similar to Yami's dimension stance and delivers the final blow. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen may have only been 24 episodes long, but almost every single one of its battles were gorgeously animated. We see the main characters make great progression throughout the series and are now strong enough to take on special grade curses by themselves. Just when we thought Megumi's psychotic fight was epic, the last episode was even better, where we see just how crazy Nobara is. She was a complete savage, turning herself into a voodoo doll. She was completely the antagonist here that made even a special grade curse cry. The 
the teamwork and music were a great addition. It was too bad we couldn't see Sukuna once more in action, but Yuji made up for it by showing off his superhuman strength and Black Flash. This movie wasn't exactly released in 2021, but the worldwide availability wasn't until the Blu-ray release in 2021. This makes it to the top of the list for the pure quality of animation and choreography. If you thought Saber Alta vs Berserker fight was spectacular, Ufo Table surpasses it with this phenomenal fight. The technicalities of the animation and special effects were unbelievable, especially the seamless integration of both 2D and 3D elements. We finally see Medusa in her full powered glory, and she deserved every bit of that budget. This battle between the epitome of speed and power and their respective powers and skills were beautifully showcased in this stunning fight. If you enjoyed that, a like would be a huge help in taking this channel to the next level. And remember to subscribe for many more top 10s to come.